guys, it's my son's birthday and I've rented him this super cool inflatable jump house for his birthday party. Now, one small problem. The outlet that I've chosen to run the extension cord from doesn't seem to be working. So I've got to switch this outlet out in a hurry. But the problem is if you've ever dealt with a weird outlet on the side of your house, it's really difficult to figure out which circuit breaker it actually goes to. So I've been racking my brain trying to figure out because I don't want to flip the switches. My son's already up playing video games. My wife's already in the kitchen baking his birthday cake. So I've got to figure out which circuit breaker this particular outlet actually goes to. And I've been thinking about it and I think I have a solution. I just remembered I got the circuit breaker finder from Kaiweets. It is the most amazing circuit breaker finder I've ever owned. Let me show you what it has. So inside this really handy, cool carrying case, it's got a neatly organized circuit breaker finder, transmitter, it's even got some alligator clips that you can clip on to a live circuit. Or if you're looking for a light bulb where the light bulb goes to the circuit, you can use this handy adapter right here. Today, I'm just going to use my transmitter and my receiver to plug into here and figure out where this goes. Okay, to use the circuit breaker finder, the first thing I need to do is power on the transmitter. And as you can see, it lights up with this beautiful green LCD display right there. And now we're gonna need to actually insert it into the outlet in question. Insert it in there. Okay, and I've gotten a little closer so you can see what's going on here with this amazing circuit breaker finder. So I've plugged it in and not only is it plugged in to transmit the signal, but it also shows you your voltage on here. It also shows you right here if your line neutral and earth ground is set up correctly and it says correct right there. So we're looking good there. I'm not sure why it's going in and out intermittently. Now, if this was a GFCI, you could also hold down this test button right here and it would actually trip the GFCI and tell you if it's a pass or fail. And so to test the GFCI part of the transmitter, I plugged it into a GFCI outlet and we'll hold down the test button for about three seconds. It pops, it says pass right there, so easy to use. It also indicates that red indicator on the outlet itself. And we know that this is a good GFCI outlet. Friends, if you're still watching this point, do me a huge favor, hit that subscription button below it is absolutely free to do so. And not only will you stay up to date on all of our free do-it-yourself electrical how-to videos, but it also does something to the algorithm. I don't know what, but it helps the videos push out to so many more people. I truly appreciate it. Okay, now back to the video. So, so we've got our transmitter plugged in. Now we're gonna go to the receiver end and figure out where our circuit breaker is. Okay, we've made it out to the circuit breaker panel. And as you can see, it's labeled pretty well, but it's not always the case where your panel is gonna be labeled. And sometimes those weird outlets like those on the side of your house are just not labeled. So in that case, we need to bring in our handy dandy, awesome circuit breaker finder. Now this one from Kyle Eats is, it's really amazing. This thing actually learns your panel and then alerts you to which breaker it is. So the first step is, We'll go ahead and fire it up. And as you can see, it has that really nice green lit up LCD display there. Now mine is in learn mode. If it's not already, you'd hit, just hit the function button one time right there. Okay, and it's got the flashing magnifying glass, which means it is in learn mode. Now per the instructions, we need to slowly glide over our circuit breakers right here. And what it's doing is learning our panel. Isn't that pretty cool? Then you hold it away for about three seconds per the instructions and it will reset into find mode now. So now we can just slowly bring our finder down. Okay, and you can see this breaker right here. It has changed to red. It is alerting us with the red there, the red on the tip right there and it is flashing and beeping. It is very obvious. This is our breaker right here, and it's that easy to figure out which breaker it is. So we'll go ahead and flip that off, and we'll go check the receiver end to make sure we've lost power. Okay, we've made it back to the receiver end, and you might be thinking, Trevor, you've still got power right here. 
Well, that is actually not the case. Another super cool feature of this Kyoet Circuit Breaker Finder is it will hold your reading even after you shut off power to it. So if you pull it out or if you turn off power to the outlet, it holds your reading so you can easily measure that. And you'll see my green light is flashing now, which means I have lost power, but it is in hold mode. We'll go ahead and pull this out. And all I have to do is shut off power. I'll reinsert it into the outlet. And voila, you can see, doesn't matter if we turn it back on, you'll see we have zero volts right there. So we have effectively removed power to this outlet. Now, let me show you one more thing. This is the other cool thing about this, uh, the receiver end here, is it has a NCV, that's non-contact voltage tester built into this thing. What can't this thing do? It's so amazing. And to test the NCV, we'll hold that down. And you can see now that it does say NCV right there. Okay, folks, I've turned the outlet back on just for demonstrating the NCV. Just show you what it does when it does have live power. So this is a handy safety feature. Now, let me just scan this wire here. Now that it has power, you can see that it's lighting up red. It's beeping at us. It is flashing at the end. It is screaming at us, hey, you've got power on. So friends, as you saw, it was that easy figuring out which breaker goes to this outlet using the Kiowe Circuit Breaker Finder. Now, not only that, but bonus features, it has that NCV feature built in, which is really cool. And the transmitter has the GFCI slash outlet tester. It tells you literally if you've wired up your outlet correctly. Now, what other breaker finder does that? I don't know, but this thing is so cool. I really highly suggest you pick one of these up. And today and every day that you're watching this video, throw in the code electrical U on the Kiowitz website in the description below for your exclusive 15% discount. You can't beat that folks. Okay friends, I hope you saw how truly easy it is to find a circuit breaker to any outlet or really anything using the light adapter or alligator clips that it comes with, but it is that easy you can find never guess again which outlet goes to what breaker or whatever and if you enjoyed this video check this one out right here i picked it out just for you i think you're gonna love it and again if you haven't done so already please subscribe to the channel right here again it does something to the algorithm i'm no uh, youtube guru but it does something it helps us push the videos out to so many more people. I truly appreciate it and I'll see you on the next one.